Okay, so I've never done this before, but I'm in I'm in animal territory. I've got three snowshoe hares. I'm ready for anything. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you how I got a snowshoe hare. I'm sure there's gonna be people out there that think I'm doing it totally wrong, and maybe I am, but this is what works for me. So here's my, here's a big buck rabbit. Here he is. Nice beauty. So the first thing I start with is I snap its legs. Now, I usually keep one of these for good fortune for the rest of my hunt. The rest, I discard. Somebody's gonna get it. And on the front, and just snap them like that. Cut. Done. This just helps with getting the skin off. And I find you want to break it, not at the joint. I got my head on a swivel here just in case because we are in bear country, in cougar country. And this is a meal for a lot of them. So then I, once I've got the limbs cut, I make a little incision. And this is just through the fur. Now, I don't keep my fur, but I know a lot of people do. So then, at that point, it just comes off like a, it's been described as a wet sock. Get the legs through, and then they can be pretty slippery, so it's good to good to hang on to it. Just you can see just behind the legs, got a good hold, and then you can pull the rest off. I used the 410 with them, so and they were on the move, so it might be a gut shot sometimes. With rabbit, they just they, they're fast. So, and then your shotgun shells spread. You get a bad shot every once in a while. That's okay. We'll just clean them off. I'm on this beautiful creek here. So once I've got to that point, I'm gonna slice around his neck a couple times. Pull the head off, give them a bit of a wash, and now I'm going to go into I'm going to go into here. I can see that I, he's got some gut still, so I've got to really clean this meat out. It's nice to hit him with a 22, but today I was using 410. Okay, and you make your little incision. Yeah, and I can see he's definitely got. So I'm gonna do this as quick as I can. Okay, so most of this is going. This is intestine. So then what you want to do is here's his liver. There's the liver. So that's good eating. You fry that up with some onions or the butter. Beautiful. I usually fry it up with the heart, which we're gonna get to next. So I'm in the creek here, I'm picking out his kidneys. I don't eat those. Give him a nice wash. There he is. So now, I gotta break through the diaphragm. And in there, I'm gonna get to his lungs. And the prize is heart. Which is right here. Beautiful. Oh, throwing them on the rocks. Beautiful heart. So I try to squeeze as much blood out as I can. Put it in the bag. 
And then this is where it gets a little trickier. So you're gonna cut down. Cut down, and then you gotta spread his legs and follow the pelvic bone with your knife. You're gonna open it up, follow down the other side, and then you kind of have to position your knife on like a 30 degree angle, snap, snap, you can hear it, and that releases the rest of his intestines. Give another wash, kind of pick out one. And there it is. Field dressed and ready to be cut up as meat. Beautiful leg meat on this guy. This is a nice big buck rabbit. And that's all. Thank you very much.